Hi, I'm Jason Heath, and here's what's happening in the world of the bass. We've got a quote from Berlin Philharmonic principal bassist Matthew McDonald. Just playing long notes, trying to get the bass to resonate more and more, and seeing where this point is, where the bass almost seems like it's... You can almost see light coming out of it, whether the overturns are so strong that you can almost see it. I'm just starting to enjoy this what you can get out of the instrument. Jeff Chalmers of Discover Double Bass and Acoustic Image are teaming up to give away a Series 4 Claris SL bass amp to one lucky member of the Discover Double Bass audience. Be sure to visit the link in the show notes. There are only a few days left to claim your chance at this awesome amp. Paul Cannon's video, What It's Like to Rehearse with Ensemble Modern, caught fire on Reddit this past week. Here's a clip. <laughs> Be sure to check out the complete video. It's really fantastic. Congratulations to John Shimmick of Oklahoma City University, who got some great coverage in the local paper for performing at the Children's Center Rehabilitation Hospital, along with other members of the Oklahoma City Philharmonic. And John hosted the 2007 ISB convention at his school, which is a beautiful facility, by the way. And it's great to see him getting some local press for what he's up to. Congratulations also to Hans Sturm for receiving a University of Nebraska Lincoln Certificate of Recognition for contributions to students. You're doing a lot for the music world, the bass world, Hans, making a big impact, so that's well deserved for sure. And congratulations to Barry Green for presenting the keynote session and doing some clinics at the Oregon Music Educators Convention. If you've never seen Barry present, you're missing out. And next up for Barry is Rowan University. That's Douglas Mapp, president of the ISB. That's his school. And he'll be doing a bass masterclass and an inner game of music workshop. And then he's headed off to Hawaii for some time with the U.S. Marine Band and then the Hawaii Music Educators Conference. Great to catch up with you in Prague, Barry, and it's great to see that you're not slowing down at all. These and all other upcoming events can be found at ContraBaseConversations.com slash calendar. And if you have an event that you'd like included, just send me an email at feedback at ContraBaseConversations.com. I did a post last week about teaching bass to beginners, and I'm starting to do blog posts with accompanying videos on a particular topic. This is what I did for that, and it's proven to be quite popular so far. It seemed to resonate with a lot of people. So check out this post, and if you have any ideas for topics you'd like me to explore, send me a message and let me know. I'd love to know your thoughts. Scott Lang runs a website for music educators called Be Part of the Music, which is filled with materials to help with recruiting and retaining students. It's geared toward classroom teachers, but there's a lot to learn for private teachers as well. And Scott's a positive force in the music world, and he's a hilarious writer to boot. So check out his site and the new Be Out of the Music site, and subscribe to his email newsletter if you haven't. It's a great weekly dose of thoughtfulness and laughter. I love it every time I get it. And speaking of giveaways, we've got our latest giveaway with the Dario Strings underway. If you visit ContraBaseConversations.com slash strings, you get the chance to win a set of orchestral hybrid or pizzicato strings. And I've been using D'Addario strings for years. I used helicore strings on several basses. I used their orchestral strings and I used their hybrid strings, which I really liked because they had some growl to them and they still felt good under the bow. They're reasonably priced. They're made in the United States at the D'Addario String Factory in New York. And thank you guys for sponsoring the podcast. Hosting for Contrabass Conversations is provided by Bass Capos, which are an excellent choice for any bass player looking to implement a double bass extension. They're easy to install and adjust. They're lighter and more reliable than hand-built latches. They're quicker in response. They work great. Check them out at BassCapos.com. Thank you to everyone who wrote in this week. I appreciate it so much. The emails, the Facebook messages, the likes and the shares are so incredible. And I appreciate so much you taking the time to write in and say hi. I've also been overwhelmed by the response and how popular the Contrabass Conversations community 
Facebook group has become. I should have started this up years ago, can't believe I didn't do that, but we're talking instruments, we're talking electric bass, we're talking the upcoming ISB convention, we're sharing photos of our bases, so much. I'm asking for questions that I should ask upcoming guests. I would love to have you be a part of this conversation. And you can join up by visiting controversyconversations.com slash community, or just search for us on Facebook. Last week on the podcast, we featured Eric Steffens, who's the principal bass of the South Westphalian Philharmonic and is my very first serious bass student. Back in, I think, 2001, he started studying with me. It's been so much fun following along with Eric. Check out this episode. It's a great listen to an American's journey into becoming a principal bass of a European orchestra. And we also featured Kevin Brown, who's the principal bass of the Detroit Symphony. We dug deep into all kinds of topics. Kevin studied with Peter Lloyd. He studied with Paul Ellison. He studied with David Allen Moore. We talk auditioning. We talk what it's like playing incidental solos in the orchestra. So many good takeaways from this episode. So be sure to check out both of those if you haven't yet. And thank you so much for following along. You can check out all the links to everything I talk about at controversyconversations.com slash news. And we'll close out today with a clip from the 90s contrabass orchestra from South Korea. Enjoy and we'll see you again soon for more life on the low end of the spectrum.